Alright, welcome back to YouTube. Um, I have decided to make some WCF videos, some advanced videos which will be the message security and the transport securing regarding videos. Apart from that, so I have divided this whole into the section called as A, B and the tracing as C because the tracing has tracing, editing, message logging as well, right? But in this video, we'll start with the basics, alright? First, I would like to cover tracing and creating a certificate during the development time because we'll be needing that in the future as we progress more with the videos. So in this video, you will be seeing that how will I create the certificate. Uh, over here, the steps are pretty simple. First, you create a root certificate, alright? That becomes the authority. And based on that certificate, you create two more certificates like one for the client and one for the server I mean the thing is pretty simple no big deal if you focus correctly and you do exactly what I'm doing you can do it very easily and there's one more thing to remember when you're dealing with the Visual Studio command prompt you need to run as an administrator otherwise you will get an error so here's my Visual Studio prompt alright so what I'm gonna do is first thing I'm going to use the utility called as make cert alright so and I'll create a certificate by the name called as root CA test and there will be a private key and I'll be generating a certificate alright so I come in here I paste and I hit enter as soon as I hit enter I get a prompt one for the password confirmation right so I'll put the password as test again I'll put the password as test and then I say OK again it prompts me for the password now this prompt is for the private key right and this is a pretty secret so we got a success right now if I go to location system dot windows dot 32 so as you can see this is my system dot windows 32 I got certificate and I got private key right so my first step is clear next step is to create a revocation list certificate alright so this certificate I mean uh, this is the thing is generally we require if our certificate key got compromised or something is wrong with the certificate the issuer will give you a certificate think of uh, in terms of Google the thought is a you know the certificate issuer to Google and Google is using that certificate to show that uh, he has a valid <coughs> what do you say an HTTPS provided by a Thaute right so it kind of secure if anything goes wrong the then Thaute is the guy who will provide the new certificate again to the Google right so now we have the root certificate now the revocation list certificate right so what it does is make certificate tool again this time we are creating using the root CA test you have the private key and you're trying to create a certificate revocation list right so as soon as I hit enter it again asks me for the private key which is nothing but a test same password I need to enter in order to get the success alright so two steps are uh, clear now next thing I need to check that is this guys are in position so yes you can see CRL CER and PVK so I got three things up and ready next thing what I have to do is I have to import them I have to import them so I'll create I'll touch MMC alright then I'll get a prompt then I gotta say yes then I got MMC then I come in then I say add and swap in then I stay here I say certificates and I say add then my computer account I'm sorry I mean computer account and finish and then you say OK once you say OK then you come here alright so right now personal has nothing but I can see my list of certificates and right now I have created a certificate called as root CS certificate so where is that guy mm, how can I refresh this I'm sorry I'm supposed to import the certificate first I'm sorry so all task import the certificate next and I know the location the location is Windows system 32 I need to go down there and I need to look for the certificate so I have a certificate next next finish so now I have the certificate root CA certificate now I have a guy who is authorized to deliver me a certificate but now I have to import one more certificate import and that guy would be the CRL service revocational certificate so I'll go here I'll change it to CRL I have changed the filter to CRL and if I scroll down 
I'll find CRL and next next and finish pretty easy now if I come here and if I refresh I'll get one more folder below here so let's see yes I have a folder and I got my revocational list certificate with me so I got two certificates one is the guy who I mean using which we're gonna generate a certificate for client and for server which will be coming here automatically we don't need to do anything right and this is a guy all right so we came half halfway through right so next is these two steps are done and now we have to do the final two steps which will be will be first creating a client all right so again same utility nothing has changed let's see make cert then my key name I'm using my private key I'm creating a certificate name called a stem certificate for which I'm using a certificate as authority called as a root CA test on my local machine I don't know about SSS SSR sky exchange P but they does I mean but they will install a certificate for you automatically and as you can see they will ask for the private key password so you'll say test I mean you can of course read about these parameters but you can see how they work in MMC pretty well now I have to come here and I have to refresh so you see your client is ready right same thing goes for the server so where is my server all right again hit enter and get down there and say test all right so now you got the second guy as well so now refresh you have one more certificate right yes you got client you got server so basically all you gotta remember is we'll be using these two guys very very much in our I mean the future tutorials right uh, in order to uh, cover a lot of things like you know this part is right now it's done then we'll be using message certificate with this mutual certificate then with uh, what can I say username and password username yes for this again we'll be using a certificate so we'll be requiring a lot of certificates alright so I hope you understand this video I mean generally a lot of developers <coughs> know the concept or know the things but they don't know how to do it it's pretty easy if you if you do the exact steps which I have done that will work out pretty fine if you really like the video, please subscribe.